Welcome to the Nature Just Got Real Sensational Summer Minicast Series for Kids. Let's get started. Hello, Planeteers. Welcome to the new Summer Minicast Series. I'm your host, KB Carr, and if you're watching this on video, yes, I'm in cartoon form. Just wanted to keep it summer casual. I'm calling these mini casts the Sensational Summer Series, and we are going to do some fun things and maybe learn some fun things all summer long. There will be a new episode released every Monday through the end of August, so be on the lookout for those. And instead of having us all do every episode, just one of us will host each mini cast. I'm starting out the series, and Tito will be hosting the next one, so be sure to watch for it. Now, being a mini cast just means that it's a much shorter episode, and there will be a worksheet and an activity you can download to go with each episode, as well as an activity pack you can purchase to go along with it if you want to. So let's get right into today's mini cast. This first episode is about clouds. We are going to identify 10 major cloud formations and see how many we can spot this week. When you see clouds, what do they remind you of? Maybe they look like giant cotton balls. Maybe they look like cotton candy. But what are they really? A cloud is a visible group of water droplets and ice crystals that float in the air. We can see them because there are millions or even billions of them stuck together. They might look light and fluffy, but clouds are actually full of water. Each tiny droplet is really light, but they weigh a lot when they're all stuck together. In fact, a whole cloud can weigh as much as a house. But how does a cloud form? Well, water from the Earth's surface evaporates and turns into water vapor. Warm air rises and takes the water vapor up with it. As the air rises, it begins to cool, and cool air can't hold as much water vapor as warm air can. So, as the air cools, the water vapor begins to condense around tiny particles like dust and pollen that's floating in the air. As the water vapor condenses, the tiny droplets begin to stick together, and when millions or billions of them get stuck together, a cloud forms. Now, if you've ever laid down outside and watched the clouds, you've probably noticed that they don't all look the same. Some are long and stretched out, some are wispy and shaped like a horse's tail, and some are big and fluffy. There are many different types of clouds. Today, we're going to concentrate on the major cloud formations, and there are 10 of them. But first, we have to talk about the four major groups these clouds fit into, so we can understand what types of clouds we're seeing and what they mean. So, there are three types of main clouds, and the other seven are mostly combinations of those three. Those three are cirrus, cumulus, and stratus. Cumulus clouds are thick and fluffy like cotton balls. Cirrus clouds are thin and wispy and look like horse tails. And stratus clouds are low and gray, and they often cover the sky. Those types of clouds can be combined with other types, and then they're divided into four major groups. Those groups are high clouds, middle clouds, low clouds, and clouds with vertical or upward development. High clouds are found at elevations of 20,000 feet and higher. The cold air at these elevations causes the small cloud droplets to freeze into ice crystals. The clouds at this elevation are called cirrus, cirrostratus, and cirrocumulus. See the combos? High clouds at this level have those ice crystals that can act like a prism when the sun hits them, and those are the clouds that give off the beautiful colors like sunrises and sunsets. Middle clouds are at elevations of about 6,500 to 20,000 feet and consist of altostratus and altocumulus. Alto in this case means mid-level. Makes sense, right? Now, low clouds are at an elevation of below 6,500 feet. Clouds at this level are stratus, stratocumulus, and nimbostratus. Nimbo means precipitation or rain. So anytime you see nimbo in a cloud name, it means rain may be coming or someone is getting rain. The last category is clouds with vertical development. This means clouds with an up and down look to them. 
Those are cumulus and cumulonimbus. There's that nimbo again, and you know what that means. So this week's mission is to look up. If there are clouds in the sky, use the cloud ID chart you should have downloaded to identify and check them off your list. Check the sky every day and document what you see. And while you are looking, try to see if you find any clouds that are shaped like anything familiar. One of my favorite things to do is to lay back on the grass, watch the clouds drift by and look for shapes. And I've seen a lot of shapes in the sky. It's also pretty relaxing and if I'm anxious about something, this activity usually brings down my stress level. Write down what shapes you see and what type of cloud it is on the cloud formation observation sheet. That's it for this episode. Tune in next week when Tito gives us an interesting activity having to do with crickets. I hope he's not going to teach us to catch and eat them, though. I mean, he is a frog. Now go out and have a cloud-gazing adventure in your neighborhood. That wraps up this mini-cast for today. Thank you to our sponsor, Weird and Wacky Planet. Don't forget to download your play sheets and activities for this episode. See you next Monday for the next installment in the Sensational Summer Series Minicast. Thank you for listening.